Yo, it's me, it's CG Ruthless Sports. I will be brutally honest, and nothing but being brutally honest, coming at you with another video. So I am going to give you five realistic free agencies that the Niners will sign, in my opinion. Just look at it this way. I'm using common sense, and I'm going to tell you who I think are going to be the guys that we might sign. So hear me out on this one. So I will give you number five. So I'll show you right now. So, okay, number five, Kevin King. Before you come at me with this stuff, don't don't come at me with this. Uh, I'll explain why Kevin King would be the guy we would sign. He would pretty much either be a cheaper option. He may be a far better version of what Dante Johnson is. He might even be a little bit better than Akello Witherspoon. But I don't think... You don't get the clue. Maybe he'd be okay with our pass rushers. I think he'd be a very capable guy who can step in. I don't think he would be a serviceable starter, but you never know. Maybe with our scheme, he might fit better with us. So I'm thinking that I'm thinking exactly how the front office will look at players. A guy like Kevin King, probably one of those guys that hasn't performed up to the expectation, and he should be a free agent. He's probably not going to cost much. Some teams are probably looking at him and saying, I don't know about paying this guy. But when you look at the 49ers, who have we valued the most? We barely value cornerbacks. We don't we don't value them that high. We usually get these guys that you probably wouldn't want to sign and probably would make the most out of them. Look at Dante Johnson. Look at guys like uh, I mean, we got Josh Norman last year, and he was he was at the peak of at the end of his career, and he he hasn't been the same since. But we signed him anyways. We signed a couple of other guys. So. Maybe with signing a Kevin King, maybe it's not a bad pickup, but I think you can't get any worse with Dante Johnson and the other guys. So I'm thinking that in, like outside the box, I think that would be the guy we would sign. And plus, he's got the link. Plus, one of his breakout seasons, I think he had five interceptions in Green Bay. And then ever since then, he's kind of declined and kind of struggled from there. But I think a change of scenery with him coming to the Niners, I think he would be a great fit. But... I think it depends on how much he's going to be worth, but I don't think he's going to cost much. I think he's going to be a very solid pickup, maybe for our secondary. We do need a big, lengthy guy, so maybe he might fit for us, so that's what I'm thinking. So I will give you the next topic of why we should get this guy, and it will be number four, and I will show you right now. So, okay. Okay, I'm going to show you number four right now. So it's definitely... Brian Allen. Why Brian Allen? Uh, Alex Mack is going to retire, so there's no way you're going to bring this guy back. So you're going to need to address the offensive line. And if you're not going to pay big on offensive linemen, then why not take a chance on a guy like Brian Allen, who probably won't cost much, and he'll be a lot cheaper in the market value. You're either going to look to fix that interior line position. If you're going to be sold on your quarterback, Trey Lance, then you're going to have to invest some protection for this guy. And a guy like Brian Allen, he shouldn't be costing too much because I think he was a guy that played some games and got in, into some situations to where he got the start or he either got injured, but I think his value won't be much. I think you get a guy who would fit the scheme, and he's played an exact similar scheme that it was run by Sean McVay. It's very similar to what Shanahan does. So I think if you get this guy on, on a very cheaper deal, this would this will solve the issue for right now. So I think you can't go wrong with signing Brian Allen. So I think that would be the, the, the way the front office would want to get this guy. They want to get a guy who would know the system. They want to get a guy who can be plugged in and start. So this is the guy you could definitely plug in as a starter, and that's my option. I mean, you can get a guy, you can get another person, or you can draft a center. But if you're very confident with Daniel Brunskill, then I don't know. I don't think it's the answer there. So I think you, you can't go wrong with Brian Allen. So that's why I think that would be the smart choice is to sign a center like Brian Allen, who is younger and going to be cheaper, and maybe that's the best way to go. But that's my opinion, so let's get on to number three, and I'll show you this guy. So, okay, number three, and I'm going to tell you why number three would be another guy. So, Austin Corbett, he's a guard. He's not going to cost much than Lakin Tomlinson. Lakin Tomlinson's going to cost a lot of money, and it's going to be hard to retain him. So, 
why not get somebody like an Austin Corbett who won a Super Bowl with the Rams? And the Rams are probably going to have a hard time retaining this guy. So why not kick the tires, get a guy like Austin Corbett, who's pretty much played in the system. This is a very similar system that, that we're running. So it's a simple transition. He's a plug-in starter. So you can bring him in to be your starter to replace Lincoln Tomlinson, or you can just bring him in to, to give competition to Aaron Banks, one or the other. You can't go wrong with this guy. So this would be a solid consideration to, to sign that's kind of like thinking outside the box of what the front office would do you want to get some plug-in starters those are the the guys that i was saying you know i even talked about brian allen that would be a plug-in starter austin corbett plug-in starter they both know the system they played exactly the same exact system it's very much common sense you you want to get somebody who can start right away those are the guys so that's my option and i will get to number two and i'll explain why that option would be a good idea so i'll get to number two right now okay number two i will say desmond king why desmond king he will fill the role left by Quan williams he can play nickel he can definitely play anywhere in the secondary. You can put him at outside corner. You can put him at nickel. It don't matter. This guy's very versatile. He'd probably be the cheapest player to sign in free agency, and he's still young. He's in his late 20s, so he's definitely going to be a guy you can still build your team around. This guy is the most underrated player in, in the league, and he's definitely got the ability to to fill that role you know you need a guy that can play the nickel and that's the guy who could do it you can either put him there and that would be a solid replacement for Quan Williams that would be the smart choice for the 49ers and I don't think he'll even cost a lot of money that most people would think I mean he's a really good player he's very underrated but I'm surprised that his market value isn't too much so I think that's a no-brainer we should definitely get this guy Desmond King what else can he not do he can return kicks he can play nickel. He can even play free safety or outside. What what else can the guy not play? I'm just saying, the guy is very versatile. Versatility is very important in our defense, and that's what we covet the most. So that's definitely a guy we could definitely sign, and I can see that as a possibility. This guy would fit in right away. He would be a plug-in starter at the nickel. You could even put him at outside corner or at the free safety spot if Jimmy Ward were injured. Just saying, that's a suggestion. That's common sense of what the front office would do. That's how they look at players. They value versatility. They look at guys who they can plug in. So those are guys you don't have to like develop. They 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 would know the system. A guy like uh, Desmond King, he's versatile. He'll he'll learn quickly on the fly. So he's a good player. So that's another option that I could consider. And let me give you number one. And I will show you right now why this guy is definitely a guy we could definitely sign. And it wouldn't cost as much, maybe. So I'll give you the suggestion on number one, and I'll do it right now. Okay. Okay. So number one, and I'm going to explain why this guy would be number one realistic target. Randy Gregory. And hear me out. When, if you take away his suspension, this guy was an ascending pass rusher. He's exactly a guy you can put as a starter. You can put him in the rotation. This is kind of like a similar replacement to Arden Key. If Arden Key hits the market and signs elsewhere, why not get a guy like Randy Gregory? It's pretty much getting a similar player with a similar skill set. You get a guy that can be coached under uh, Chris Caseri. It's like you're not missing a beat if Arden Key leaves. If Arden Key leaves, you get a Randy Gregory. A Randy Gregory, you take the you take the risk. You take the risk. And realize that maybe it pays off. This kid has the ceiling. This guy has potential. He can rush to the quarterback. He can be consistent at times. This guy has the ability if he was never suspension from time to time. But I think maybe he might have cleared his act. And maybe this is the, the player that we could definitely take a chance on. We've always taken flyers on players with characters in the past. But I think that Randy Gregory does give you the, the confidence that maybe we can bring this guy in and put him in in our lineup you know maybe he could be a starter maybe he'd be good in the rotation but he wouldn't be a bad option to consider like you know Arden Key's probably gonna test the market he's probably gonna see what other teams are willing to pay him and if it's not gonna match up the offer that he wants then maybe he comes back here but it's not a bad idea to get a guy like Randy Gregory who to me is ascending and emerging as a top pass rusher in some ways but I don't know if Dallas will be able to afford him but man this guy would be a really good player to have on our lineup. You know, just imagine Nick Bosa, Randy Gregory. 
Now that shit's unfair too, but man, you can't go wrong. Just imagine if we brought Arden Key and and just signed him. Oh wow, dude, that's that's crazy, bro. I'm just saying. Let me know what y'all think in them comments. You know, as always, CG Ruthless Sports is out, and you already know. Go Niners. <laughs>